Welcome to video one of the Detroit Red Wings playoffs forever. So if you are tuning in expecting to see a Colorado Avalanche video, I left a comment in the last video that in starting uh, video six, Timo Solani retired along uh, Joe Sakic as well. And after a quick uh, debrief mentally, I decided to put that story to rest because uh, Timu Solani it was a big part of it. The whole, the whole uh, I guess central ideal of that idea was to win Paul Korea and uh, Timu Solani a cup together, which they never did in real life. Uh, I thought maybe I could sneak in Timu Solani as part of the staff of Colorado, but he never showed up as well. I could have obviously have added names and things like that, but I've decided to put that uh, story to rest. So at the end of the day, mission failed. Uh, I was not able to to win uh, Timu Solani and um, Paul Korea a cup. You know, uh, Timu Solani ended up retiring much earlier than he did in real life. Uh, he played until 42, 43, I believe, in real life. In the, in the game, he retired at 38. So uh, quite the big difference. I thought I had more years to go, especially because, you know, I mean, he was signed under contract, but that doesn't really matter in this game. But, but anyways, that story is closed. Uh, moving on now to the Detroit Red Wings. Speaking of closing, this will be the last FHM8 game. After this story, I will be moving on to uh, FHM9, which just came out not long ago. Uh, and I believe uh, I checked their community forms and they have already updated it once. So that's kind of the green flag that I wait for um, to... To get that game, just to get iron out the glitches early on in the uh, in the game's existence. So the next game will be on FHM nine. This one is still on FHM eight, and the uh, this story is all about keeping the Detroit Red Wings playoff streak alive. So they had one of the longest playoff streaks of all time. Uh, in professional sports and professional North American sports. As you can see here, uh, the last time they had missed, 04 or 05 doesn't count, uh, the last time they had missed was in 89.90. So a long, long time ago. Uh, up until then, they were uh, making the playoffs every year. And in real, in reality, in 2016-17, they missed the playoffs. So the name of this game is basically keeping Detroit's playoff streak alive at any means necessary, obviously within our restrictions of, uh, of how many um, uh, waiver guys we can claim and uh, free agency as well. Uh, but the name of the game is to keep this playoff streak alive. This video will end as soon as... We missed the playoffs. So if Detroit misses the playoffs this season, that's it. One video, and we're packing our bags to FHM9. Uh, we're going to keep this going until reasonably we think that we should wrap it up. But again, this could be the shortest story that we have ever done. It could potentially be one video. And I've looked at this roster. This roster isn't great. It's not bad, but it's not great. There's no guarantee of making the playoffs. Uh, it's definitely got some loose ends to it. Uh, it's got uh, uh, Henrik Zetterberg is 35 already. Nicholas Cronel is 35. Um, there's not real anything way, way too top end. Uh, Tatar's a nice player. Dylan Larkin should be a nice player. But other than that, it's just a, kind of a mixed bag of players. So with that being said... Let's get the show on the road. Let's see if there's anything that can help us via free agency. Via free agency? I like I like via free agency better. Okay, so immediately I noticed Jordan Bington. Let me take a close look here. Contract designable. And I'm not 100% sure if we're going to have to give up picks for um, where am I going if, if I'm going to have to give up picks for Bennington but 
he immediately comes to mind as somebody uh, who would be of interest to us. Currently, we do have Peter Mrazek, who's okay. Uh, Jimmy Howard, in, in reality, was the goalie around this time, but his star rating is not very good at this time. So uh, I won't have a problem, actually, um, trading him or losing him. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Am I green still? Okay. So that's our top four. Well, that's not bad. We definitely have some questions at number six, though. That's for sure. Kronik is the guy we want to sign ASAP. Uh, Christopher N looks like a promising prospect. We'll get him going. He's already 20 years old. Uh, Dennis Chalowski looks pretty good. Let's just take a look at how many contracts we have available here for us. Yeah, we have plenty of contracts. We'll get Dennis in the house as well. And Dominic Turgeon, let's take a look. Dominic Turgeon looks okay. He's 20 years old. I think he's uh, looks okay there. We'll we'll get Dominic Turgeon going. May as well. Giovanni Smith. Let's see if he's a two-star guy. He is. We'll get Giovanni Smith signed. Joe Higgins. Uh, and Sayarvi. Really? Okay, so that's where I'll draw the line from now. Higgins. Yeah, I'll draw a line right there. Uh, let's see who else is possibly expendable. I think Franz Nielsen could be expendable. Uh, Riley Sheen's ratings are really good. Uh, Glenn Denning's a nice. Hopefully he'll drop back to the third line. I think our center is not bad. Franz Nielsen, he, well, actually, physicality is not bad. But no, nah, he's not really a player we want to. Nathan Estadio could be pretty good for us. Uh, ben Street, 29 years old already. Uh, not much value there, so I'm not going to put him on the block because I don't think there's much you can get for him. Uh, who else is there? Just, uh, Vanek. Let's check out Vanek's skill set. Yeah, he's not bad. Darren Helm, let's take a look at him. Still pretty useful. Uh, checker. Uh, Steve Ott. Drew Miller. So yeah, there's definitely some older players here that um, might be exposed to the waiver wire sooner than later. Nick Jensen, he's not too bad actually. Okay, so uh, I am gonna give take my shot at J Biddington. Uh, he might be under St. Louis's um, property, but I'm going to take a shot. Regard oh, 4.4. Let me take a look at how much we have. I think we have lots of space, to be honest. I think we have lots. We're 28th in payroll, so we don't have a problem with that at all. Okay. So we've made an offer for Jordan Bennington. He's a four-star goalie. I think Mrazek's just under four, three and a half. Uh, and let me take a look at uh, three more other potential players we can go after if they're under one star. I see Connor Clifton looks pretty good. I'm going to throw a contract offer at him. Uh, I see there's Hunter Smith. Who else is there? Uh, Frederick Gauthier, he might be a nice defensive player. Pionk is another one that definitely caught my attention. Now I'm not sure if these players will be even will will be able, eligible to even sign these guys, but I'm gonna give it a shot because you don't ask, you'll never get. So 
So I'm gonna throw a contract offer at Freddy Gauthier and Pionk, and that will be our four offers. I have no idea what the outcome of this is gonna be because I really don't know what kind of free agent they are. So Bennington, along with Freddy Gauthier, Pionk, and uh, Pionk, and and one more guy. Bennington, Gochi, Pionk, and Clifton. So let's let's see what happens there. So I haven't taken a look at the trade block yet. Let's take a look at definitely not there. Where am I going? See if there's anybody available here. Um, there's a couple players here. All seem to be in the same boat as uh, what we're trying to get rid of, to be honest. Uh, the players that are a little bit over the hill. They are available. Cal Clutterbuck could be interesting, though. We do have a bit of an opening there on that right wing that uh, spot there but perhaps we have a match here let's take a look here if I can make a swap of Cal Clutterbuck they need a goalie we have a goalie for you they will never accept this deal they really don't like that deal I guess alright how about uh Pasquale. No, that's not going to do either. Kuro. They like this deal, but do we like this deal? Kuro's not that bad. Hmm. Do we have any guys with rights here? No, nothing yet. Okay. Okay, so that's a potential uh, move. If we get Biddington, we can make that deal. But we haven't got Biddington yet. Uh, let me take another look at these this train block here. See if there's anybody else kind of uh, under thirty would be uh, would be uh, not a bad idea. Chris Stewart. Oh, this is game looking. Not too crazy. Okay. Actually, we are past the draft. So let's go another day. So there's a lot of waivers here. Do we have players on waivers? Oh, we do. I wonder why they're on waivers. They're not. They were never put on waivers, and they're definitely not. Um, they were never sent down. That's bizarre. Was I warned? No. Um, I'm not gonna let them leave on waivers because I never put them on waivers. So that that is that is weird. It would be different if they were in the minors, for example, but they're not even the minors. I've never seen anything like that before. Where they just appear out of one waivers just just because. I mean, um there's a few good players on here, but I'm not gonna just uh go claim them because I don't have first of all any I don't have any uh waiver slots or waiver pick up available yeah I'm not, I'm not too happy if any of my uh, uh, if, if my guys leave here I'm not I'm not happy about that it's because like, I did not put them on waivers so I don't know what is going on here alright let's see if anybody gets claimed ok 
can I uh, put these guys off of waivers or put these guys off of waivers? It doesn't make any sense even. That looks like everybody, everybody passed waivers. Yeah, weird. Okay, let's move on. That was weird. That was pretty weird. Okay, so let's keep on going here, see if we can uh, make some moves here. Okay, we've got we've got some yeah we've got some deals coming in. Uh, it doesn't appear that uh, there's any um, anything to do with RFA, so that's good news. Uh, let's see if we can join Bennington in the house. Yeah, we do. Perfect. Well, he's on the market, so I took him. If we were going to be putting these unsigned players back on teams, we would never, um, we never get anything done here. So, hey, Bennington, this is very realistic. There's no reason why he couldn't have been on on the market. That uh, goes against the 27 uh, save percentage of 750. There's a story of you know he was in the ECHL at some point, I believe, and um, and uh, any team could have had him. I'm actually gonna look that up because I, I remember them talking about this the year, I believe the year that uh, St. Louis won the cup. I believe Bennington came out of nowhere to take that uh, to take that starter's role. I want to confirm here whether he was in the AHL or yeah he was in the AHL and he was in the ECHL at some point. So that was much before. So he went on the run in 1819. That was. His 32 games in, and uh, then he played 26 in the playoffs. Uh, but yeah, his previous uh, his previous uh, goaltending uh, wasn't very good. So yeah, so this is very legit where he could have been very open to uh, anybody and um, ends up here. Okay, so with that being said, we do have some wheel room here to make a trade uh, if Clutterbuck is still available of course which he is I don't mind that deal I think Clutterbuck could be a good depth player um, let me take a look here and he's, and he's 28 so it's not too bad Goalie, they want a goalie, so we got one for you. We got Kuro. Okay, now the Islanders can give us something else, though. Uh, I see Seidenberg, Boychuk. Let's check out these guys. No, not too crazy about Boychuk. How about Seidenberg? No, nothing doing there. Kearns, Gianta, Kuhlman. Okay, how about a draft pick, please? No, they won't take that. No, it looks like straight up. Which I'm okay with. Well, finalize the deal. Well, done deal. Okay, so there you go. So Cal Clutterbuck is now a member of the team so that leaves us with two goalies there let's just make a let's just clean this up a little bit for a training camp here who has a realistic chance of making this team i'd say a star and a half Chronic will send down and along with these guys, Clifton, Pionk, and uh, Cholowski. And then up here, we'll grab, yeah, Steve Ott will compete for a spot. 
as well. Drew Miller, I think Tyler Bertuzzi as well. No, he's only half star. Oh, his rating is really low. I don't like that at all. That's a he got short end of the stick there. He should be much better. Right, uh, much highly ranked. Ben Street, Greg Gauthier, Noshek. You know what, I'll just grab, I'll grab one stars. Uh, Goaltending, yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy's on the outside looking in for sure. It's Jordan and uh, and Peter Mrazek for sure. Uh, and we'll send down for now. I believe Turjan as well. Uh, Turjan is actually... No, we'll send him down as well. No check. He's got some ability, I guess. Mantha, yeah, he'll get a shot. Mitch Callahan, let's take a look. Yeah, interesting player. Matt Laredo. Not so much. Uh, okay, something like that. Is Freddy Gochi actually ready for this? Eh, not too bad. I'll give him a shot. Something like that. So, yeah, so we've already added Jordan Binnington, and we added a couple prospects, Clifton and Pionk. Uh, Freddie Goche is going to be getting a shot here in training camp. So, yeah, we'll we'll see about that. Uh, trade for Cal Clutterbuck. Kind of shore up the fourth line, perhaps. So... Uh, I think that's it for now. Remember, we're just trying to make the playoffs, you know, like uh we need we need some of these older guys. Brian Campo looks interesting actually. I don't think the price will be too outrageous. They also want the goalie. Never accept this deal. Okay. How about uh, Howard? Now we have a seventh. Let's try. Oops. Try a third rounder. Wow, they really. Not even first? Interesting. Okay. They really don't like those deals. Thought for a thirty-seven year old it'd be easier to easier to get, but uh I guess not. Steve Kelly. Chris Kelly, sorry. Chris Kelly's still pretty good there defensively. How about Mike Fisher? Not as good. We'll see what happens here on the, on the fourth line battling spot here. Chris Kelly might not be the worst idea. Let me just check out his price. His price might be super, super low and I might just get him right now. He'd be uh, all right. Um, Uh, player to bring in. So what have we got here? Left defense. They'll never accept. So I'm noticing that the veterans are definitely uh, uh, not not free. They're not free in this game. That's for sure. Still got to pay the price for these guys. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, they're not giving these guys out for nothing. Uh, let's try. Wow, even N. Okay, so I'm, I'm in the wrong market here. 
So with that being said, let's rock and roll. Let's get this season going here. Let's get to the training camp and see if we can get this playoff streak extended. Uh, monthly budget. Oh, yeah, we've got lots to work with here. Lots to work with here. All right, preseason start. Let's get going. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes. We have a decent amount of uh, roster spots available. Pretty much everything's up in the air except goaltending. We know our two goaltenders. Uh, we should know our captaincy. We should know that. Where's leadership? Yeah, this is Hank and then Cronwell. And then we could use one more... Uh, so an assistant captain here. Let's give that to Larkin as a 20-year-old. Sure. Yeah, why not? Okay. One more look at the trade block. Not too much has changed. Let's take a look at the schedule. It's the 28th. We'll go to next week and take us to the third. Perfect. I'll go take us through four games. Um, Razik is off to a nice start in goal. Obviously, this is preseason, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Let's take a look at some of these players here. We can start to make some reasonable cuts. All these one-star players appear to be heading down. Everybody's going down. And that'll leave us with uh, 25 spots. Let's see how the positional breakdown is. So we've got four right wingers, four centermen, and then a bunch of left wingers. It appears we have seven. Defense, and we're down to eight. Okay. Yeah, Drew Miller is in tough here. I don't see too much here. Let's compare him to Helm. Yeah, definitely tough for Helm to stick around. Uh, well, that's well, it's not too bad. Sproul, Sproul's gonna be in tough with that kind of defensive stats. I have to admit there. Yeah, Sproul's down too. So yeah, so we're already down at twenty-three. So this this could be our complete roster right here. This could be it. Uh, Steve Ott. Let's take a look at Steve Ott. How is he playing? 63. Still got something to give. Where did Nielsen? Nielsen's already down. No, he's still sticking around. Okay. Let's see how this goes. We will see how this goes. I think we've got one more game left here now in the preseason. Whoops, that's the initial schedule. Let me just give me the our schedule. So yeah, one more preseason game. Helm struggling a little bit. But still a pretty useful player. Uh, Ott is somebody that could definitely, will probably be our first send down if necessary. How's Clutterbuck doing? He's doing okay. Okay. 
Okay, some of these young guys have earned a spot. Russo, Robbie Russo has earned a spot. So first, the fans would probably be down. Would be, I don't want to do all that. It'll be, where did Sproul go? Oh, Sproul got sent down. So we're okay there. We got seven defensemen there. We are good to go there. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Let's get the show on the road. And now we will see who has to pass through waivers, I believe. Yeah. Here's the warning. There's the list. And no big deal there. Uh, we'll take a look at one more time with the trade block. Not many changes here, if any. Ryan Callahan, I see. No, definitely not the same player I used to be. Okay, so let's go to the next day. See if any of our guys get claimed. Uh, doesn't look like anybody was claimed by from us. Nope, nobody. A little bit surprising, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so let's get going here. Uh, let's get to the next month. Let's start this season. Let's get going. Okay, so we do have a claim here. We do have a claim. Nashville has claimed Spruill. So we... Wait, what? Whoa. Really? We are considered a top three favorite to win the cup? Wow. Now this, now this is shocking to me. That is shocking. I was not expecting that. Uh, let's go one and a half star. Wow. Okay. Sure. Um, I don't know if that's that. That must be a good thing because the computer is not acknowledging that I have enough star rating to do something. So that, that can only be good. So let's hope we can at least make those playoffs. Uh, okay. So we do have the one uh, waiver pickup now available. Yeah, I was not expecting that. Okay, we, we are below the floor. So what I'm going to do is um, see if I can resign some of these guys here and just give them their their money immediately. So let's say Riley Sheehan. Uh, I think he wanted one point. Two mil. Okay, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to edit a couple of things. Uh, just to get to the floor, I guess. So uh, basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna the players that are, um, as you can see, there's a bunch of players here on one-year deals. A bunch of them are gonna get raises. So what I'm basically gonna do is just give them their raises immediately, so that we can get to the cap floor. I've ran, ran into this issue before. It's kind of a weird problem to have, but uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do that to a few players. Okay, so what I did is I attempted to give all these players, uh, well, not attempted, I gave all these players uh, extended contracts and I gave them their new uh, salaries. But even that wasn't enough. So basically what I did uh, just to get to over the, uh, the floor was basically I just added a one to Dylan Larkin's um, uh, cap hit uh, just to get over with because I wasn't sure how much more I had to go. Um, 
so that should do it for now so just uh I'm gonna have to remind myself to take off that one eventually uh, after just after the season because um, he is still signed for three more years. So uh, after the season, I'll remove the one and I'll see if in the future we'll still need to be uh, adding numbers to get over the the cap floor. This has happened to me in the past. It's kind of a, I want to say if it's a glitch or something. It's just kind of annoying where um, you know it is the cap floor and and things like that. You got to get to it. A lot of teams, I guess, have that problem. So. I wonder how the computers deal with it. But with that being said, um, everything's good. Let's get this show on the road. Top three favorite to win the cup. Uh, I, I can't believe it, but hey, let's, uh, let's play the game. Let's see what we're about. Why not? Why not us? Why not us? Uh, off to a decent start, though, I must say. Off to a decent start. Okay, well, Cronwall. Yeah, that's what you see usually. Uh, Cronwall in the top eight of goals. That, that was quick, but looks like our goaltending is off to a decent start. Bennington, all three categories. I did see Mrazic there. Um, quick look at our game ratings. We haven't gone too deep yet, but it's not too shabby. Not too shabby. Um... I think we can adjust some of this. I want to take, uh, sorry, oops, remove from trade block. And uh, I don't think we'll get too much for Steve Ott. I'll keep Jimmy and Jimmy and Drew Miller on there. Uh, the points are doing just fine. We're doing okay this month, so I'm just going to keep everything the same, status quo. And we'll uh, get towards December and we'll take a look at the stats once we're there. Okay, so, so far the Biddington signing is hasn't been a bad one. And um, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Mrazic is, it appears to be the backup for now. We are losing a couple games there. These are big divisions, this uh, this new alignment here. Big, big divisions. Yeah, we were first, now all of a sudden we're last in the division. How things quickly can turn. Okay. So let's, uh, let's boost this up here. Let's go all the way. We're collecting points like crazy. Um... Sure. Okay, so let's take a quick look at our ratings. Ratings aren't too bad. Uh, we're definitely not scoring as much as we'd like to. Tatar leading the team in points. Uh, other than that, yeah, nothing too crazy. Nothing too of note. Let's take a look at the goaltending. Mrazic is three and six, while Bennington is eight and four. So definitely more Mra we we need more Bennington in net. Would be ideal. Let's take a look at the trade block. Not too much available. I'm definitely noticing differences of simulating in 2016, other than compared to what we were just simming. Um, there are some definitely some big differences. Okay. The wave reviver is a lot, a lot less uh, erratic. Not too much available. Okay. Maybe I should give. Ott and Nielsen are playing too much. You know what? I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to send these two guys down on waivers and uh, see if that shakes up the team a little bit. See if that changes anything. 
Okay, now we got some injuries. What, have they claimed it all? Doesn't appear so. Smith injured, he's day to day, while um, Delcator is three to four months. So that's a significant injury. I'll also put Smith there on the shelf. Okay. So centerman or a, or a right wing would be ideal here. Let's give it to see you a shot. And we'll let we'll see how this goes. Okay, what do we got here? Dowling. Justin Dowling. Or Corey Conacher. Decent offensive stats there. Uh, but not enough to pull the trigger on a waiver claim. Alright, now the now the injuries are starting to come after after a relatively uh, healthy start. Now we're getting bumped a little bit. Bumped around. Lash off. Uh, not that great. Jonathan Erickson, has he got anything left in the tank? Not really. Is this chronic time already? No, I wouldn't trust him. How about Clifton? No, it might be Lashoff. Yeah, it's going to have to be Lashoff. Uh, as for over here, let's take a look. Fugucci is not too bad. How about Mitch Callahan? Interesting skill set. Let's go with Freddy. See what happens. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. So uh, apparently we were psycho favorites, but we're definitely going to be fighting for a playoff spot now. The injuries are piling up. Mantha's got to have to suck through that. Suck it up. Hopefully not suck through it. Rather him play well through it. Okay, yeah, lash off down. And we'll take a look, better look at the standings after uh, at the new year. Okay, we got a couple more guys coming back. Only green. Jensen. Russo, I think I see you. He hasn't played too bad actually. He has Gochi. We'll let it we'll let it roll here. Okay, Jerko is injured. Oh, fractured vertebrae. Three to four months for Jerko, so he's hitting the shelf for a while. Okay, so the losses are starting to pile up a little bit here. We got a trade offer here from the Islanders, Ryan Pollock for Jimmy Howard. Um, yeah, <laughs> that seems like a no-brainer to me. Like gangbusters there. I was making out like gangbusters on that trade. Uh, Russo, I think I'm gonna send down Russo now. That's what that trade allows us to do. Uh, what else? And then Gauthier down, I think, too. That'll take us to, oh, and Jerry Crow on waivers. Uh, I don't know why. Look at those numbers for the Islanders. What are they doing? 
What are the Islanders doing? Are you kidding me? You dum dums. What are they doing? Oh, they got Howard. No, no way. What an organization. Oh my goodness. Wow. They came to us and they want Howard. What are they doing? Ah, that is bad. That is some bad, bad dealing there. My goodness gracious. I don't know what to do all these points. These points are crazy. Okay, so at uh, the new year, we are in the Western Conference, by the way, so um, wild card spot. We're a way out. Holy smokes. Well, the Islanders are going to be worse because they just trade Kuro, but we are we are out by a, a lot. Um, we'll see what happens here. I think we can be better. We need to be better or else we are done. We need to be better. It's that simple, folks. Okay, so let's uh, let's see contracts. Anything crazy to take care of here? All of that can can marinate for now. Where did we lose a guy? Maybe we didn't lose a guy. We just need a guy. No shake Ben Street, Terjan. Doozy. I guess Freddy can be the guy. Unless, let's get Trevor. Uh, let's take a look here. There was a guy I kind of was looking at here. Trevor Lewis. Not bad. Let's take a look at his price. Doesn't have any. Uh, they'll never accept this deal. Okay, how about. Uh, yeah, okay, they're 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 uh, pricing it quite high. I thought we called up Gucci. We haven't yet. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, let's move on here. We are uh, not in the best shape right now. We had a we had a really good start to the season, but we just have not been able to to turn it around. And now we are here scratching our heads as the losses pile up. Let's see if there's anybody. Um, let's see if we get a coaching change to try to save whatever is going on. <laughs> yeah, imagine hiring Wayne Gretzky to coach. Uh, Paul Coffey. Uh, Ralph Kruger. Uh, there's not. There's not many. Uh, there's not many players. There's not many names that will get it done here. That's for sure. Yeah, I don't see anything here. There's nothing gonna. Nothing's gonna save us there. Nothing at the. Nothing that the staff can say here. Nothing salvageable. So we're 10 games uh, under 500. I'm noticing these offers aren't bad. Mm, I'm not crazy about that one. The Pollock thing for Howard, for the Islanders, my goodness, I don't know what they were thinking. Doesn't look good, folks, though. We just 
we can't get going here. We're kind of stuck, 10 games under 500, and that seriously is not uh, not going to cut it. But what do I know? The Islanders got rid of their main goalie, and they've only boosted up to the top of the Eastern Conference, or they were at least, another fourth. Everybody's happy, but uh, another big blow injury-wise. Yeah, there's a whole line right there. That's arguably what our third, fourth line. So uh, ideally, you want those guys in your lineup. Okay. How to salvage this season? Uh, there's not, there's not, there's nobody even on the tray block really that can save us. Really, nobody out there. Ryan Kessler and his prime would be nice. All right, everyone, now he ain't the same guy, obviously. Yeah, I don't know what. Uh, there's, there's not many options here. There's not many options here to. To help, I'll put a couple more guys on the tree block. See if that changes anything. Guys who might have some value. Looks like we're getting pretty good ROI on uh, the offers from the computer, so I'm gonna give that a shot. Um, well, that sure. Let's give that a go. Got the trade deadline coming up in 27 days. Uh, who's injured now? Someone just disappeared. Okay. Who's doing well on the farm? Twenty-nine points. Uh, Mitch Callahan's not too bad. Let's try Mitch Callahan. Sure. Why not? Yeah, we're in tough. We're in pretty darn tough. Uh, it's not over yet, but uh, we'll see what happens. Julian Melchori. No, I think we're going to save our oops, save our waiver exemption for a forward. That would probably be the wise thing to do. Dan Hamhues or Xavier Wallet. So quite the age difference. Will this save our season though? You know, this is it's funny because we're we're gonna have to do something here about this. This isn't the trade I would I would even consider, but I'm considering it. Although honestly, I think yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to reject that trade. It was an interesting trade, but it's just, it just doesn't make sense because it's pretty much equivalent. And there's a ten year difference, so. Gonna, uh, I passed it. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough, but it's not impossible. But we gotta start stringing some wins together here. <coughs> Ryan Graves for Darren Helm. This trade makes a lot of sense for us. Uh, if we were rebuilding, like a lot of sense. Um, could we use a defenseman though that is the question yeah Helm's been pretty good for us defensively 
and we're lacking in that department. Uh, Jensen, do you think we can send that one? This one that bad. Pollock maybe isn't ready yet. Pollock would be a guy we could wheel and deal. Ryan Graves. Yeah, I'll I'll complete this deal. And then I'll send down uh, Pollock, who doesn't appear to be 100% ready yet, but hopefully Graves, Graves can improve all his 47 with us. We might need to call up a forward now. Yeah, we'll call up some... Uh, how's Bertuzzi looking? I don't know if he's ready. Turgeon looks okay. Laredo. Okay. No check. Let's try Dominic Turgeon. Why not? We gotta try anything. Try anything and see what happens. Another trade. Jensen. Nicholas Jensen. Oh, Nicholas Jensen, the, the Ford. I gotcha. For who? And if they see you. Another defenseman. Or no, sorry, this is a, this is a, this is the Dane. I actually interviewed Nicholas and Jensen at the World Juniors. I worked for Hockey Canada briefly. And um, I worked the tournament way back when um, in Edmonton. Uh, he was not a not bad option here. Not a bad option. Let's check out the stats. 13, 13, 14, 13. Okay, okay. Although Anthony isn't playing too bad, though, I will say. I'll uh, let that marinate. Let that marinate. Almost at the trade deadline. Now oh, we got a proposal here from Colorado. Not too crazy about that offer. Ryan Graves not playing great with us. He's going to get sent down. Turgeon is injured. David, I'm just going to send him down. Who else can we put on the block? Can have some value. Sheehan probably might have some value. Put Larkin on for kicks. We'll need a miracle at this point to make the playoffs, so who knows what kind of offer. These guys might present to us on uh, the computer, that is. Because we are well out of a wild card. Well out. Well, well out. Doesn't look doesn't look good, does it? Only two proposals here. Ono Koivula. Bracken Kearns. Yeah, no, that's not uh, that's not great. But there is Blake Wheeler here. Okay, so we've got something here. We've got something. There's Daniel Chara available here. 39 year old Daniel Chara. Let's go grab Daniel Chara. For hopefully not too much. Left defense, right defense. Uh, 
Okay, so yeah, they are not giving him out for free. Alright, so they're definitely not giving him out for free. Uh, what's it going to take? Okay, Brent Smith, yeah, they'll take that, but that's not the deal we want to make. Okay, so they're pretty particular of who they want to trade. Even Dominic Turgeon won't do. Interesting. Mm, how about Freddy Goche? They would do Freddy Goche. Yeah, let's see if these guys can actually play still. Uh, are these guys still? Sixty-five. That's not too bad. Let's get our priorities straight here. So Blake Wheeler might be number one. What's his price? It's going to be a left defenseman involved. We could put in Wallet, and we could throw in. Uh, we can put in Riley Sheen. Let's see Wheeler's game. Pretty good. And then we could throw in a pick. Okay, so we can make this deal somehow. Okay, and a seventh. So I'll let I'll let Sheen in a seventh. See if we can bring get anything back from them. No, maybe a seven. Yeah, we can. How about two sevens? No. I don't know why they want our seven, we can just swap it. Uh, is that an okay deal? Yeah, it's okay. Oops. Or oh, hold on, that was a right winger there. He's a right winger. I'd rather. One of our right wingers. Uh, Tatar is actually pretty good. Uh, okay, let's do let's do uh, Shane, I guess. Okay, so that's a deal right there. We've brought in Blake Wheeler. The best player available on the trade block. Uh, Kadri would be interesting. Let's try to get Kadri out of Toronto. Uh, Bergeron's available too. Kadri. I know that uh, I did make a, in the last story. I made a rule with three trades at the uh, at the deadline, but uh, at this point we need to uh, we need to boogie because uh, it's all or nothing at this point here. Pretty dire times here. Uh, okay. All or nothing at this point. Okay, Glenn Denning and Kadri will work. And a third. Can I throw in maybe Turgeon instead? Or Gauthier? No. Uh, 
Uh, you gotta move it. Glenn Denning's not bad. Defensively, he's pretty up there. But I'm just I'm just throwing a hail mary at this point. And can the least throw in a pick? No. Okay, let's just try this for kicks. So we've got Kadri, Wheeler. We're throwing the kitchen sink in there. Muzzin, let's see what it would take to get Muzzin out of Los Angeles. Uh, where is Muzzin? There he is. I think there was a defenseman still that we might have been interested in swapping out. Let's try with some, uh, Pollock and maybe Jensen. That's not moving the needle. How about uh, second round pick? No. First, that's not moving anywhere. Muzzin might be out of our reach. Oh, okay, so Brandon Smith is the guy they want. Interesting. I'm okay with that swap. Brandon Smith, how's he looking? He's not bad. Jake Muzzin. We'll try that. Okay. Now let's try... <laughs> this is kind of wild. I've never, never done anything like this before, but... Uh, I don't even know if it's even worth it, but we'll, we'll find out shortly, won't we? Uh, Gabrick. I'm just trying to get in some guys with good, uh, good ratings left. Uh, Tanev might be a good, uh, might be a good idea to try to get him. The Canucks could use everything. Uh, okay. Looks like Pollock might be a non starter. How about Jensen in a first? Yeah, that might not be going anywhere. I did see Bergeron out there. I did see Bergeron. There's Bergeron. I'm going to give him a shot. Left defense, right defense. And then there's the defenseman. I want a defense in the first. Oh, what does it look like? Centerman. Okay, I don't know if that's going to work. Let's try to bring in some older players here. Uh, Chara, let's try Chara. Center. Freddie Goch, I think they wanted. Yeah, they did. I'm okay with that. Uh, what else can Boston give us? I think Boston had a uh, Bergeron still that we wanted. Uh, can we do? What if we added? What if we added N? And then to see you. And the first. 
the second, and the fourth. No. We are valuing. Bergeron quite highly. Seven, let's try to get a six from them. Six works. Go to four. No. Let's get a fifth from them just in case here. Okay. So now we got uh, Chara. We got Green, Muzzin, Chrono, De Kaiser. Jensen there is a, one of our guys, Kadri Wheeler. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Gaverick might be an interesting player to add. What do we got here? Abdul Kader is out for a while, I think. Major injury, two, three weeks away still. Good defensively. I don't know if Gabrick is the right guy for us. He's kind of a, yeah, a bit of a one way ticket at this point, that's for sure. Okay, what, <laughs> what do we have left here? In the tank. What do we have left in our bag of tricks here? Doc Martinez would be cool. <gasps> oh, excuse me. That yeah, would be cool too. Uh, his ring is not too high. Well, maybe we could get him for cheap though. Andy Green. Um, what's the price of Alec Martinez? Let's go, let's say, I don't know, say, and if it's you, I don't want to give that to you, Russo, and Bertuzzi. Nope, that ain't gonna be caught either. Okay. Okay, so uh, you know what? I'm just gonna call it right there. And we've added Muzzin, Chara, Kadri, and Wheeler. I don't know if that's gonna do anything for us, but let's give it a let's give that a go. Let's just give that a go and and see whatever happens happens. Uh, we might need an extra forward. Yeah, it appears so. Uh, Nielsen is more of a liability at this point. Uh, ben Street, sure, why not? Let's give him a shot. So we're going to have to boogie now at this point. Uh, we are going to have to boogie at this point. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough left in the tank here. No, Mike Green's injured now. That's not ideal. He's out with dizziness. So that could be some concussion issues there. Uh, let's try Pollock. Mm, Razek. Uh, let's try. Can we send him down without waivers? No. Yeah. So we're we're battling. We're battling. What can I say? We are battling. We made some. Uh, Arguably outrageous trades, but it is what it is. We're going to try to claim Jensen. We'll see if he has made our. has hopped on with us. Uh, he hasn't. Ben Street. Day to day, are we any other guy? We're going to need a guy. Out of curiosity, let's see here how we're doing on the wild card. Still uh, 20 points out. Yikes. 
closing time. You can say that again. Uh, doesn't look good. We'll need a mini miracle, no doubt. And all these injuries, they ain't helping. These injuries ain't helping. Injury list, Cal Clutterbox Street. All right. We need a defenseman. Crazy is coming up, and then who else we need here? We need a centerman and a right winger. No check and uh, Laredo, I guess. Oh no, Lor uh, yeah, Laredo's good to go. <laughs> okay, we are in the nitty gritty. Doesn't look good. Look at that injury list. That's something else. Let's just uh, give Drew Miller one more go at things. Might as well. All right. We've got uh, Mike Green back. Let's get the 30 wins here ASAP. Come on, boys. Let's get it. Clutterbuck back up. Let's go. Cronwell. Also. Graves goes down. Drew Miller, too. Stay lock. Yeah, so uh, pretty uh, pretty dire situation here, I guess. Uh, maybe the Red Wings were meant to miss the playoffs uh, in 2016-17. Hey, it is what it is. Try to get things going here. I think if, if we could just get back to 500, I think that would be a, a win for us, for sure. Uh, pull up, send him back down. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see if that makes any changes here. Oh, we got another injury here. Pollock back up. Okay, and Ryan Pollock is injured. Right back down. Larkin is injured as well. He's out one to two weeks. Okay. Injuries, injuries. They pile up, let me tell you. They pile up, and then it's tough to tough to claw back. Now, I know we haven't looked at the the uh, scoring in a while, but we will at the end of the year. What do we need here? We need a defenseman, probably. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough to battle back from those. Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't know if it was injuries. We had a lot of other issues, to be honest. Just a lack of talent, I think. At the end of the day, is uh, definitely a big piece of it. Um, yeah, just just not meant to be, I guess. Not meant to be. There you go. So we have missed the playoffs. 
we were unable to uh we were stuck there all all year elf but four games uh under 500 we were we were 10 games under 500 at one point so there's a little bit of silver lining there Toronto Maple Leafs missed playoffs so does Tampa Bay well okay uh, so yeah some some positives there let's see we finished 22nd in the league uh, but yeah just uh unable to get things going let's take a look at our scoring summer we made some crazy trades there at the end uh Kadri played well uh wheeler not so great uh, tatar had a good year uh zetterberg continued to kind of dwindle and uh so forth let's see the goaltending 28 and 26 for Bennington so that's a wrap on this uh, no not yet that's not a wrap yet but it will be a wrap pretty soon uh, that's a wrap for this uh, story And uh, this particular version of FHM, we are moving on to uh, FHM 9 after this. Um, I wish, I honestly, I was hoping for, um, hoping for better. Um, would have been, would have been cool uh, to, to at least extend it by one more year. Uh, would have been the worst thing, but... Um, yeah, uh, it is what it is at this point. Let's see who wins the cup in 2017. Uh, all right, so one more active roster. So Philly and Chicago in the finals, just like uh, they did it uh, in real life at one point. I can't remember which year that was actually. I'm gonna take a quick look at that. What year did they actually meet? Uh, let's see here. Chicago met Philly in. Chicago met Philly in 2010. So that's a, a repeat seven years later. Chicago. Oh, there. It's not done yet. Actually, it could it could be could be something still. Hall of Fame vote. Let's let's do it. I saw Curtis Joseph in there, so I got excited. Cujo, Theo Fleury. Yeah, Dave Vanderchuk. Yeah, sure. Why not? Team Solani. Jr. Yeah, let's go, Team Solani. Okay, let's end this here. Looks like a swoop. Okay, I yeah, know. Philly got a couple in wins in there. So there you go. That's cup number seven for the Chicago Blackhawks. Still had it, you know. Still had some pretty good players there. No doubt. And Philly. What was Philly's? Uh, yeah, Giroux. Giroux Voracek. Pretty good team there, too. Uh, first seed. Islanders. Wow. Got bounced in five games by Carolina. Interesting. So there you have it. Um, short and sweet story. We were unable to uh, to extend the playoff streak. Uh, let's take a look here at how that compared with... Uh, oops, not the initial salary history, but looking for our history... So 36, yeah, 36 wins is uh, is low. Looks like one of the lowest there is of the run. So yeah, uh, yeah, no, it's simply not good enough. Uh, you got to be better to make the playoffs, no doubt. So uh, 93 points was good enough uh, last year. So. 
yeah that's uh it's interesting and um yeah and that that's a wrap here and um the uh i wish i wish this was uh we we could keep going here but again i pulled i tried to pull up uh pull out a uh a rabbit out of the hat with uh kadrian wheeler uh gave up some asses for them but wasn't meant to be so with that being said that's a wrap for the story it was very short on to fhm9 we'll see you there with the edmonton oilers now a very intriguing story coming up there if what if gretzky never left so gretzky um we're actually going to be picking that up um uh before the Oilers won their fourth cup i believe um before the uh i believe 87 88 um uh, because Gretzky was dealt to the Kings in the summer of 88. And uh, so we got to go a year ahead. That might be a pretty uh, fun one to do. Uh, I've done that one personally a few times. And they're always fun to see uh, what can happen. How many more cups um, those uh, that group could have. Obviously one of the, I would say, arguably the 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 best dynasty uh, ever um there's obviously been some very good montreal canadian teams and and uh, the islanders four in a row were pretty darn good um but this collection of stars and kind of the quote-unquote the modern game is quite uh quite uh interesting so with that being said we'll see you in the next sim in edmonton and uh that's a wrap for fhm 8 we'll see you again in the next video